So I'll show you uh, what is alternate state. So why are you using alternate state? Here we have option called alternate state. So basically, in the click sense, whenever you, we do any selection, that selection is globally applicable to all the objects which using the same data set, right? Now, the purpose of making alternate state is where we want to create a comparative analysis, okay? Comparative analysis on same dimension and same type of chart. So I want two groups should be there or two states should be there. Same filter should be there. This particular filter, filter one, will act upon the visualization one, whereas filter two will act upon visualization two. Is it possible in normal click sense? No. If I select chat one, then both the visualization one and two will be start filtering, right? So we can differentiate them. We can differentiate the filtrations by using this alternate states. So this will create, create a logical grouping of the filters and visualizations to which you can make your selection separately. All right, so let's see how alternate state work. Uh, first of all, I will have to uh, go with the dimension. values here Filter pen. I'll take two separate uh, set of filter pens. So four major filters I have added to this uh, drop-down list. Now the same thing, what I'll do, I'll just uh, create a replica of it. I'll just copy this one and paste once again. So I've got another set of filters. Logically both are same. Now what I'll do, I will create a chart Here I will show um, 
customer wise number of orders Now, I have uh, created one chart. Now I'm selecting this say uh, year from this. When I'm selecting a filter from this side, this filter is also getting affected. Now, when I'm selecting a particular customer, this customer is also Swing. I'm selecting a product. Choose one month according to the month. This uh, data is getting filtered. If I select the month from this side also, now you see the month is also selected from this side. I'm selecting the again one month from the right side. That also getting affected. I want to make a segregation of the filter so now for. Comparative analysis. What will do? I'll just copy this chart and paste it once again. If I'll try to do the selection now, I'm selecting month uh, from the left side, both of this chart is getting filtered. Let's see. Both of this chart is getting filtered. I want to make a selection in this way. Like if I select the month from this side, this will be selected. Same chart will be selected from the left side. If I select the month from this side, then this particular chart will be filtered out. How would it be possible? In this scenario, only solution is alternate state. So let's see how to create it. If you go to the master item over here, we have alternate state. You can create two different states. Okay. State one and state two. I'm creating two states. The state means the state of selection. First state. In this state, I'll make a selection or whatever you can say. You can give the name as state or groups or anything. So I'll just make it as group as well. Group one and group two. Now, what I'll do, I'll simply drag this group one to this item, which is our uh, filter panel. Now, apply state. When you drag it, you have to Click on apply state so that the group one will be applied to this set of filters. Same here, the group one drag on this object and apply state. Likewise, group two, you can add to this set of uh, filters, apply state, and group two, 
same for these objects apply state now whenever you make a selection right here right now you see some differences I got this chart filter out. Did you notice any changes over here? No. I'm selecting one customer from the left side. I'm not noticing any changes on the right side of the chart. However, if I'll go for selecting this object, on this side, only this particular chart is getting filtered. So I have two set of uh, selections now. Okay, first set you see here, it is normally so that we have selected so and so object and they are listed on this uh, strip. Whereas I can see two set of selections. First set group one has following this thing, following uh, selections and group two has following selections. The customer, we have also these many selections we have. So same chat. How we do the requirement? Uh, you know, comparative analysis. I can do you know comparative uh, comparison from the left to right. I can select same objects, same charts, same products. How they are performed on year 2012, and same chart. How they are perform on year 2013. So, so this is how the different system we can make by the selection of these two. I'm choosing year 2011 on the right side, year 2012 in the left side. So same objects with same dimension and measure I've just used in the both the cases of these visualizations. This is how the alternate strip works. And this is about two charts. Okay, two charts. Now I want to make one step ahead. I want to make a selection one step ahead where I will use two different measures and I'll try to apply those two alternate states in the measure. And then I will use that measure in a single visualization. Although we have two different visualizations over here, but I would like to make a two different visualizations over here. Let's see. I'll just make a replica of this sheet. Alternate state with how we can apply the alternate state with measures. I'll create two master items. Sales, okay. Sales, which is uh, to be applied on this order detail table, and the unit price will be so and so. So, say unit price is. So
this is the normal measure actually so how we can apply the alternate state in the measure one in this this measure Just like uh, we are applying the set analysis, we have to write group one. Now you see the syntax is also correct. That's it. Sales group one. I could just edit and uh, apply a different color to this. Same way, instead of creating one from the scratch, I'll make it duplicate. This measure will duplicate it and I'll create one more. Sales group two. And here I'll make only differences group two because we have two alternate states. Now I'll take a chart with two of these measures. So I just have added uh, this month to this year uh, chart and then I will use two measures. Group one, we will drag it here and group two. Add sales group two. Do not replace sales group one, add sales group two. So I've got these two measures. Same measures are having same values output in this chart. Now what I want, whenever I select this chart on a single visualizations you'll have a difference of the filtration which is not possible in this the mechanism i'll choose a customer i want to see the sales of this customer on this group one selection so when i'm selecting this customer i can see this particular measure is only getting filtered this customer has sales in the month of february and and few of them and then i'll add one more customer which is then the second group of this uh, measure is only getting filtered. So this is how we can make the comparative analysis based on the two state of data on the same visualizations. So this is how the alternate state work in ClickSense.